Greetings friends. Today we're going to look at two of my preferred accounting packages. The main criteria is that they, su they support multi operating systems, Linux and Windows and Macintosh operating systems and these uh, softwares do. The one we're looking at here is GNU Cache and the other one we'll be looking at is Scrooge. Now um, just kicking off the difference between the two is in the ledger format which is double entry for um, GNU Cache and a single entry system for Scrooge. Both have their pros and cons. I particularly like GNU Cache for its uh, printing methods. Scrooge tends to support a printing method of um, like a screen dump basically. However, there are strengths in both programs. Now to look at some of the strengths, some of the weaknesses, the reports on GNU Cache both of these incidentally are um, open source programs which means you don't have to pay for them big advantage both will import QIF files albeit uh, with GNU Cache it did have problems importing the export that I had from um, Scrooge due to a integer problem which other pro programs didn't have. So as you can see here there's quite a significant number of different reports and the formatting of those reports is rather good. However it is weak in custom reports. Uh, I did want to print a range of dates which was not altogether clear until I went to uh, how you do a range of dates as you go to the account and um, then you do view filter by that's the one and with the filter by you can select a date range and then do your reports off that so how I would have thought it would have been um, instigated was using uh, a filter range within the reports um, there's a lot of programming methods used in GNU Cache which to me don't really make user-friendly sense. Um, that's one of my biggest criticisms of, of this software. Um, I'll try and keep this short. The, For example, here's a, a, a an example, a split transaction. You would think to look at the split transaction you would just double click it, but double clicking doesn't do anything in each split transaction you have to if you want to look at it you have to go up to split click split and then you will see the transaction there now that's pretty messy and I mentioned that to the um, support team and they said oh well it's easy for you to do that but that's not the point we want quick and easy data entry and um, unfortunately GNU cache is not really in that ballpark. You'll see when I show you how we do the using Scrooge. Now for example let's do another one by Z Fuel, which is a um, split transaction on what's today's date. Yeah that's today's date. I'll just put in here that we can see that properly. Z Fuel. Yep. and it knows it's a split transaction and the amount will make it um, 
fifty dollars. So when I go to the split transaction, what it do, what what um, GNU Cash has done is it's recalled the previous transaction, which was eighty five dollars. And now I've got to look at the split to see how it worked it out. I've got to go back up to here, click on split. Now this is this is a a real Achilles, Achilles heel, if you like, for GNU Cash. You see, I've put fifty dollars here, and it was expecting me to put um, an amount of around eighty-five dollars. In fact, I put that in the wrong place. It should have been fifty dollars. Um, it should have been. Yeah. Now I'm I'm trying to change the amount. It's not letting me do that. I'm double clicking and and trying all kinds of things. So if I put fifty dollars in here. It's just balanced it out. This is really quite messy. I'm just trying to put fifty dollars in there. Now, if I go to split, you see I, what I did. I made a, an error, an entry error, where the previous said fuel was entered as eighty-five dollars. That's a, a withdrawal, and I accidentally put uh, fifty dollars deposit in there. So um, I fixed that up now, but it was a little bit messy getting that sorted. Now, with um, GNU Cash, you see that there's an imbalance of New Zealand dollars. It was expecting me to put uh, eighty-five dollars twenty in to that area there, then it would have balanced it up okay. So it remembers, but it doesn't do a correct percentage for the values that you put in for a split. And if you're like me, probably twenty percent of your data input is splits which makes GNU cash very cumbersome um, you've got to keep fixing up imbalances in the split because it's trying to remember previous now if you want to see splits without having to hit the split button you can go to view auto split ledger but um, it's not as tidy for data entry and I, I pr prefer you should just be able to Click on the line and press the enter key, and it should bring up the double, uh, the split lines. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. So I'll go back and put basic ledger down. Um, so that's just a quick look at GNU Cash. The other thing was I just wanted to run over um, export. If you want to export your accounts from GNU Cash, um, you have only got um, the XML data format so it's not particularly powerful there and uh, when you look around at accounting packages that import XML even though it's a standard there's not a huge number of them um, especially the open source ones so it's got a reasonable selection of imports QIF, QFX, CSV which I tried CSV and that didn't work too well. Um, yeah, as far as multi-platform, this is superior to um, Scrooge. But um, I'll just bring up Scrooge now. Now Scrooge has got a delightful interface as far as data entry goes. Um, Single entry makes it a, a little bit easy to use, I guess. But um, just the methods, for example, um, if I wanted to go to, if I wanted to put in another entry for Z Fuel, um, that which was that um, fifty dollar job, I can go to my previous one, click on that, and it brings up um, the previous entry. Now, I can use that previous entry if I want to, or I can use a template. There's templates in the system as well. But in this case, I'll just make it easy. I'll use the previous entry. 
uh, by changing that amount there it has to be minus to fifty dollars oh, I'm trying to type one-handed fifty dollars and look over here it's automatically adjusted that split and the reason why it adjusts the split properly for you is you can see the the hint the formula I've entered there is 0.5 of the total so anything I enter there that will be 0.5 of the total half of its going to personal half of its going to business so if I put um, I'll change the value there to $74.96 and there we go it's as good as good as done that and I'll just click add and that um, that addition is now in the in the system once it stops uh, it's a little bit slow it's a lot slower than GNU cache for re-entering data but um, and I put the wrong date there as well it should be for that one let's see 18th 18 slant 9 and I'll just modify that so that will move that down to the sort of down towards the bottom once I've done that so the data entry there is um, is really cool and for example if I don't have a split I click on a see it all, all automatically changes down here um, and the reporting is much more flexible than um, GNU cache, although the printing, as I said, wasn't that fl isn't that flash in it. But um, you can achieve a huge amount now. If I want to um, import, it will uh, open. Um, all supported formats um, CSV, G, G, Grisby, Home Bank, K, you, you name it basically it will do it and it imports really really well um, and exporting all supported formats CSV, K My Money, QF, Scrooge, SQLite and XML so quite a bit more powerful in that respect now the the big downside of um, Scrooge is in the um, multi operating system support you do need um, KDE for Windows um, accessory to run the software and the disadvantage there is that not always the Windows version is up to date with the Linux and Macintosh versions and if they're out of uh, out of sequence uh, they may not necessarily use the same um, Scrooge file format um, but apart from that uh, Scrooge comes highly recommended and um, yeah I'd, I'd just I would say that of the two Scrooge would be my preference by far if GNU cache had easier um, data input and a few other enhancements then um, that, that perhaps would be my choice. Thank you for uh, watching and God bless you.